I made it. Frank Onambele left Cameroon when he was a teenager to study urban development in the United States and then live in Canada. Ten years later, he is back on a mission to make sure no one in his native country has to walk for miles just to get drinking water. I was visiting Cameroon in 2012 when I noticed something that just wasn't right. It was a woman with two containers for water, a bottle on her head and a bucket in her hand. People like her spend probably four to six hours every day fetching water. They could use that time for something else. So I decided to do something about it. The first well I built was in the neighborhood where I grew up. It's called Oyak. I wanted to help the people I'd grown up with, but I saw that people started coming from all around to get water. Frank's first well produced 3,500 litres of water a day, enough for 80 families, a whole neighbourhood. Then he had another idea. I thought, why not select a place that desperately needs water and build a well there? That's when I had the idea for one summer, one well. People from other areas started contacting me via Facebook, asking how they could get a well built near them. They say with great power comes great responsibility. I'm hoping to build 20 wells now before the year 2020. I have a message for my African brothers and sisters who go abroad. Change in Africa is going to come from her sons and daughters. Coming back to Africa to try to change things is the best way we can help. If you want to help Frank and One Summer, One Well, send us an email and we'll put you in touch.